G'day guys, my name's Josh. You can call me Ja Woodle and welcome back to 7 Days to Die in Alpha 18 where we're back to continue the Doomsday series and we're back for a very, very exciting day. This is a big day in the playthrough of Doomsday because today has two major changes. The first one is that the motorcycle is almost done. I didn't quite get it done in time because it took a long time and a night full of crafting to get even close to it. I've got 20 seconds left to my handlebars but I've got everything else here that I'm possibly going to need ready to go to make myself the motorcycle which is very very exciting look there it is there everything i need is ready to go but while in fact i'm going to wait for the five more seconds so i get that craft before i go on to the next change please hurry up if i can start talking about it already you'll probably notice that i've got a whole bunch of different mods and guns lined up here and that is because i've been looking at the differences between the pistol and the smg the pistol does 35 damage it has a 14 rounds of magazine effective range is lower you know as rounds per minute is lower every Everything isn't as good as the SMG that I found. So damage wise especially, look it's a full 10 damage better, it's got more rounds in the magazine, it fires further, it fires faster. Now yesterday's kind of spooked me when i got trapped in that caravan i realized that i am like one bad decision away from really getting my shit pushed in in fact i did get my shit put back pushed back in but not quite far enough that i couldn't kind of fix myself and just down a bunch of drugs until i got better again so i think it's about time i changed over to the smg now the mods i'm gonna put on it i was, was gonna have the mag extender and the fully automatic mod but i think it's probably wiser to have the reflex and the silencer still so it's just like a bigger better pistol i mean that's all that's all really SMG is. The same round, same everything else. But hey, look at that. That is some sex right there. That looks like I'm a full like member of a SWAT team or something. It's a shame the red dot side doesn't get uh, dyed purple as well. But that looks pretty good to go. Rip and roaring and ready to snore. Let's put that over there. All right. Yeah, that's that's a good decision, I think. I'm going to wait for the motorcycle to get done. Let's go get ourselves some gasoline. It's going to be a big day. Let's go. I mean, I wish I could get rid of that front sight too. I guarantee you at some point I'm going to get distracted because I can't see that red dot of the red dot sight very well. And I'll try and use this the normal sights. If that's happening, I might get rid of the red dot and go back to like, you know, put a mag extender mod in there or something. But I'm pretty excited to get out there and test out my new weapon. Something in all the excitement that I forgot about when I was back my motorcycle is I need to make my cement mixer as well. I've got forged iron on the craft in my forge. Yes, I do. Good, good, good. Springs got plenty. Engine got plenty. Mechanical parts I should have some left over after my adventures. I've got 11. I needed 10. So that's nice and tight. Let's leave one of you in there. Take you. Let's go. One, two, three, four. I think I needed to take you. And an engine. Got plenty of them. Bang, grab one of those. That's going to be it. All right. And then the forged iron. Once I get that, it's another four minutes of crafting. Oh, that's such a long time. That's such a hot smoking long time. God damn it. You big old dingo. That's a big shot in the cock. All right, whatever. Well, we're going to get that get that rocking and rolling. Maybe time for a quick little speedy loot while I wait like four minutes for my shit to craft. Then it's back up to the old uh, punching ground, the old construction site up over here and try and get that base sorted. I've got a couple of days now until it is all over and the horde shows up. Look, I've got so many things to do. So much stuff to do today. God damn it. I'm never going to be able to get this done before the next night closes in. There it is. The motorcycle is there ready and waiting for me. So let's craft up my cement mixer. Let's grab you and put you outside just where my bicycle used to be. If I had a bicycle is still there. Hello world. Someone send something at me. I'm ready to go. God, you can't see that red dot at all, can you? If someone out there who's like good at modding can like make a cheeky little mod just to make that red dot a little bit more vibrant, that would be wonderful. Because how the nips are you supposed to see that? in the heat of battle. This is, I mean, I'm gonna blame that for why I kept missing a bunch of shots with the pistol. You know, I've got zombies running at me. I don't have time to figure out which little smudge on my sight is actually my sight. I'd much rather, you know, focus on just kind of aiming where I think it's gonna be. And so far, that seems to have worked reasonably well. That's not the button, I wanna go this one. 62% gasoline, there we freaking go, lads. Let, oh, listen to the rumble, listen to the purr. Oh, it's delicious. All right, I'm gonna stop here though. Just need a quick little raid while my cement mix gets done. So I may as well go raid this little cemetery. Who's here? Who wants a shot in the grills? Anyone home? I know it's like the home of the zombies. Oh, is that a Muppet? No, that's a bag. Where's all the Muppets? I pissed them off. I pissed them off. I got punched in the face a little bit. That's okay. I'm ready and waiting. I just am waiting for my shot. Oh, they seem to have got stuck on the on the walls of the cemetery. I was all this ripped for their pleasure. Not for mine. Is anyone else coming up behind me? No, I think I'm okay. All right, I've got a little bit of time. Let's try and line this shot up. Oh, no, it's going to come through the gate. Oh, come on. Would you, would you stop making this so difficult for me? Oh, you can't. Ooh. You can't get through. Oh, shit, you can't get through. Okay, I take it back. I was going to say you can't get through because that grate is on the ground, but I guess you can. 
Oh, oh. Okay, yeah, it's not it's not so great when you're shooting like me. I'm spraying and praying. That's exactly what I didn't want out of this. I'm gonna burn through ammo so much fast. That was my main reservation about going to the SMG over the pistol. Is just the like you know the quickness in which you can spit some rounds down when you really don't want to. Put one into you. Did I get you? Yes, I did. I need to find I need to find like a tier five SMG and find myself a uh, a watch a, a semi-auto mod to like you know, chain it back a little bit to stop myself spraying a little bit. That would be wonderful if I can find that. Oh, okay. Off to an interesting start. The SMG saved me a little bit, but it didn't quite go as according to the plan as I was hoping. Ah, uh, this is the cemetery that has, like, the big underground catacombs area, which, I mean, normally would be okay, but it's a big, big POI to go raiding. I'm not super confident about it. Uh, plus, I'm only trying to spend, like, four minutes, you know? I've got construction to do, but now that I'm here, I may as well just get it done. Can I see any mups down here? Got the crossbow out and ready to go. Where are all the smelly, dripping bastards? You're getting your skin all over the floor, not because you're shaving anything, just because it's so soggy at this point of being dead for so long. It's just kind of falling off you. That's a cleaning area, not so, not a zombie. Where are they all? Why can't I see anyone in here? This is a fucking cemetery. It should be riddled with zombies. Oh, oh god, oh god, okay, they were right next to me, they were hiding in the walls. I thought I had it covered, I thought I was going to be fine. The right one, I oh god, that's, ah, it's a feral. Oh, and she cooked me hard too. All right, here we go, this is what the SMG's for. Get a shot, there we go, right smooth into a noggin, get one here. Okay, so stairs actually are really helpful in this kind of situation. I thought I heard another couple wake up because they kind of run a little bit easier to shoot uh, up a set of stairs rather than before where they're kind of wiggling and waggling all over the joint. I can hear someone beating on shit, so they're all just kind of hiding inside the walls, which makes my life much, much easier, or not much, much, much harder, rather, the complete opposite of easier. I may as well just make some noise then, because the thing is, I'm creeping through here, which is great, but then when I do get found out, everyone who's anyone comes out to try and ruin me, so I may as well make some noise, get them all out and proud when I'm ready for them, so I have a slightly better chance of actually making good on all oh, fuck is fast, on, uh, on getting some headshots. Let's go up the stairs, all the way back up from whence we came, and try and do the same thing again, because God damn, do they move quick. Look at that, I was running the whole time, and he chased me all the way here. Plus, I've got a big biker fucker coming, there he is. Oh, I missed all of them. Oh, Oh boy. Oh, okay. The essence is. Oh, look at how good it looks. Glistening purpley goodness. Man, it saved my bacon a couple of times. I was spitting rounds, but that's okay. Rounds are there to be spat. There you are. I'm using my crossbow to open up some of these areas. I don't know where they're coming from. I'm just going to try and open up whatever looks like it might be a zombie closet just to try and get uh, make use of that super awesome stealth shit I got going on. After all, that's where the crossbow really comes into its own. Oh, fuck. There was one sitting right there. Thank God. That's what I mean. You know, I accidentally creep past these Muppets super deaky, uh, sneaky deaky like and then when I least expect it, they all come up and just reach through the back of my head and start playing tongs or hockey with me. That's uh not really what I really want to, to live with so i've got to try and make sure i see him before they get to me anyone else down here raid the coffin any bullets some bullets thank you very much thank you game i desperately needed those there is the loot room where are all the zombies oh god oh god no. oh fuck me all right time to go time to go this is a really bad room in there yeah and it's about to get worse oh my god especially when i can't fucking hit anyone hit you i accidentally shot you out of the sky in you and oh no no bad bad spider zombie bad stop it Whew, not as bad in there as I was expecting it to be, though. I was expecting rads and military zombies and all the like. It sounds like a wandering horde upstairs, or I've just garnered the attention of a lot of Muppets. Anyone else hiding in here? Anyone around? I think they should all be awake and alive by now. Yep, no, nah, okay, I think we're okay. All right, quickly reload. We're about to get another firefight as soon as I leave this popsicle stand. Well, while we're here, break open all this goodness and hopefully get something to make it worthwhile. So far, not so good. Got 13 rebar frames, but that's okay. Ugh, oh, single storage pocket mod. A slightly better knife. Okay, that's not particularly awful. Another leather hood, another bandolier, some ammo. All right, I'm not really drowning in the good loot, but that's all right. I'm like, beggars can't be choosers, and I'm just begging for my life at this point. That's my main priority. Scrap the tin can. I don't need six pieces of paper. Fuck that shit off. Let's go like this. Go modify. Let's grab you and put you in my better knife now, like that. There we go. Scrap that, because it's only worth $100 reduce anyway. 
All right, yep, no, we're good. Let's go modify, bang you into there, free up some extra space. Good, 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 good. All right, let's get upstairs and kill those Muppets trying to break down the walls. Get home, grab our cement mixer, and go do some nice peaceful building. It's been a very stressful couple of days. I need a holiday. You know, I need to go somewhere out to the countryside. I don't have to worry about the decaying dead fucking me up anymore. Let's not waste too much time. Just pull up out the front. I like when I jump on the motorcycle. I get to see my sweet armor coloring I've got on. It's like a bit of purple, a bit of red, a bit of blues. Everything's kind of, you know, working with each other. Lots of nice colors. Colors. Happy with that. Let's grab the cement mixer. Grab you out of there. Need to go back downstairs and grab the things I need to put in the cement mixer, though. Uh, like all of my stone and all of my cement. So where, where are you going to be? I think you're supposed to be in here. Where is all of my cement stuff? Did I, oh, did I leave that in the other cement mixer? I better not have. I thought I grabbed everything out of there specifically so I didn't have to go back there again. If I've done that badly, then I've done it really bad and I'm really annoyed with myself. Let's drop all this shit off. Uh, you know, it's just, just everything. Everything I don't need on me right now is getting put away and I'll come back for another, another day. You go in there. Yep, that's fine. Wham, bam, bam. You go in there too. Oh god, it's already nine o'clock and I haven't achieved anything today yet. Here we go, I'm here. It better have been worth all the gas I spent to get here. There's a muppet in the front yard. Cook could take care of him. God, the crossbow is good. Starting to feel a bit more confident with it, which I guess is dangerous because that's... Oh, there's nothing even in here. What a waste of time. Because I start feeling confident with it. That's when I'm going to get myself killed. Oh, I've left it all. I left it all at the construction site. I was planning to take my cement mixer with me over there and I already moved all the materials over there. That's real rookie hour, Josh. Come on, you're going to do better than that. Back to the main road and then turn right just down past the fire stations. Okay, we can get there nice and quickly. Oh, God. Uh, this is the good thing about having this motorcycle, though, is that now, it, like, it opens up the rest of the world. Yeah, like, before, coming all the way out to that, that cement mixer to, to, just to see there was nothing in there would have wasted so much of my time. Now, it's waste some of my time, but not nearly as much. Only, like, 30 seconds as opposed to, like, 20 minutes. Here we are. Please tell me I was right about that. My nail gun's here. My Oh, look at that. All the good stuff I was hoping for is all here and begging to be taken by me. Okay, here we go. Uh, I'll put the place. cement mixer in by accident. I want to put that down in my hotbar like that. There we go go let's just put you let's just put you there for now i mean i don't have to put you anywhere in particular just somewhere out of the way so i can get started on the rest of this uh no not like that you back there concrete mix all of you it's only going to be 68 but it'll hopefully be enough for me to just you know finish off the rest of my wall over here did i not bring my um did i not bring my rebar frames with me did i not do that Oh, I'm going to have to go home again. I'm going to have to go home and get the rest of my shit. You know, I'll take all of you because you're not really construction stuff. You're just stuff that I've left here on a different day. Jump back on here. Let's burn some more of my fuel. While I've got that concrete and mixing, I'll go home get what's left of my stuff. Oh, man, this is this is not good. I mean, I need to start planning ahead properly. I'm not bringing the stuff I need with me when I actually need it. I'm wasting all my building time just driving back and forth. Admittedly, I'm excited to be driving my motorcycle, but I need to be able to do this better. This is bad by me. All right, got the rebar frames. Also took some repair kits as well, because I don't want to have to come back here for a little while. Uh, got my nail gun. Yes, I do. Make sure I've got the things I need before I leave. I think... Oh, wait. No, 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 no. I need my flagstone blocks as well. So flagstone is super important because it's the easiest material to work with and super cheap. Flagstone blocks. There we go. Plus, I am fully intending on making some sort of zombie-proof design for the outer walls. Yes, I'm going to go to reinforce concrete to start with, but that's just kind of the inner walls. Now, I mean, you've got to have some strong walls to start with, just in case the worst happens. I mean, we'll say, like, what happens if a demolisher or a cop or something explodes next to your wall because one of the other stupid decaying bastards punched him in the noggin or twisted his nipples just the right way and he's like, whoo, and exploded and ruined your wall? What happens if that happens to you? So, you got to have a wall on the inside of that that's nice and strong to stand up to that to give you enough time to hopefully defend against the horde that's about to pour into your base. So, I'm starting with reinforced concrete. Then I'm going to go with uh, the flagstone blocks running outside. I'll probably upgrade eventually to concrete, but I can start with flagstone just to kind of get it working once i have that once i have that wall around the outside of me then i can start building the actual like building in the middle so like my living quarters don't get built until i have an area that's safe to be built in and then i can move the land claim block over then i can start picking up the cement mixer and all the other things i need out here you know get my workbench get my chemistry station my forges all that kind of nonsense once i have the solar quarters in the middle done then i can start thinking about that but until then there's first things first you've got to work your way through this in like a method i know 
that these are uh, like more construction heavy episodes are probably a bit more boring than the uh like the raiding episodes but that's kind of what the game is you know not all of this game is just going and raiding so oh i got some honey out of that that's kind of nice if i get punched in the face i get an effect i've got something to co uh, combat that with but some of the deal I, ha I can't just skip actually building the base if i go from not having a base in one episode to then it being like a week later probably get another horde night down and now suddenly i have a base that's gonna raise an awful lot of questions so i'm gonna try and avoid that where i can i need all of this stone place in fact what am i doing with this let's finish off the block that i've just been digging i've got those two construction sites just over there that have easy to access materials so i'll break down this at some point i promise i will but at least on the inside now i can get some uh, concrete on the craft again back over here get you rocking and rolling in fact i need uh actually that's gonna that's gonna work out just fine for me okay you stay there everything else stay here i'll come back and pick you up in a second i need to quickly go on a cheeky bit of a raid it's funny you know i was talking about how i didn't want to go full auto on the smg because i was gonna waste all the ammo but now that i've got it it almost makes the crossbow more valuable again it's kind of swung the pendulum back the other way because now like you know being able to, like one shot with a crossbow was so much more important but then when i get close at least i can you know just kind of hold the trigger down and hose a little bit the oh shit smg if you will before i get the shotgun at some point because you all know the king of the oh shit moments is the oh shit shotgun um but yeah that's uh, my roman rock i'll go fierce yes i am I'm, I'm pretty okay with having the um the uh the full auto mod on it for the moment i will still get rid of it at some point eventually but for now i'm all right with it oh wow i didn't even raid this place properly the last time i came through i guess i was just trying to clear it and get down to the main loot room but all of the materials are still here all the coal which is still here which is kind of nice uh some gravel is i mean i know i could i could build the zombie proof uh fence around the outside of that base in like two seconds flat i could probably do it before the night time ends tonight but i want to get like the internals right first some more bullets that's always good before i start worrying about the outside you know this isn't my house yet i still live on the other side of town so it's not super important that I do that just for this moment. I don't want to rush it and potentially fuck something up. So I'll make the walls on the inside nice and strong. Then I can worry about the outside. Then I can worry about the house. Yeah, let's let, let's not get sidetracked. The important thing is I get all the materials out of here. This is the nice thing about those brick pallets. I mean, sure you can get stone from almost anywhere, but being able to get so much stone so quickly from those pallets is so good. I'm always on the lookout for those if I need stone for anything. I do actually have a point to spend. So while I'm doing this, maybe another point in mother load might be a good idea. My strength skill is really a long way down, which sucks. But like at some point I will go back and I'll probably like respec. When I have the weapons I want to stay with, I'll go drink the forgetting elixir and respec and like really Really specialize in my offense and my defense rather than just kind of being spread out even stevens around the board um fortitude could probably do with some more 10 percent chance to with the fist 10 percent i don't want it to actually touch that uh i've already got my headshot damage up nicely healing factor cardio um I don't really know. Pain times. I mean, this is the thing. I have to unlock so much to get some extra, like, kind of armor stuff. It's better for me just to put some points into, like, my light armor, for example. That's going to serve me better than unlocking fortitude to then put some, like, you know, into my uh, my pain tolerance or my, my healing factor. Like if I can stop getting hurt in the first place, that would be ideal as well. But I'm just not good enough to do that. My dodging and weaving skills are nowhere near what they should be for this. Times like this, I would really love an auger. I don't really use the augers very much because they call in screamers. And I mean, if I see the screamer coming, that's fine. But in this uh, mode, they don't just kind of stroll up at a leisurely pace. They're nightmare speed even before they see you. So they'll come sprinting out of the trees or the shrubbery at some point. And before you know it, you've got a screaming bitch right behind you causing you some issues. So I'd rather just not call one in for the moment. But for something like this, where I've got so many different blocks I have to break down. I would absolutely froth one. I would love one very, very much let's grab that one down there as well forget not lots of materials in here so far so good as well look at that look at all those stones almost a thousand stones i had to work so hard overnight digging my stupid little like mine hole to get a uh, 1200 stones to make the crucible getting a thousand stones this quickly is just so much better just a couple more blocks here then i've got a couple more just over there there's some a big pile of sand at the front of that one as well which is always good just like it just takes so long with the shovel you know like this is a steel shovel so the most kind of damage i can do really but it still takes so long to dig through each one of these i already got an abundance of cement as well i'm not sure why i'm focusing on the cement i just want to like be able to write this poi off and be like that one is clear nothing there forming anymore move on to the next one and i'll have to second guess it later on after all this is the closest place to my base so if i keep coming back here thinking there might be some more stuff that's going to waste a lot of my time so if I get rid of all now i never have to worry about it ever again and now it is 
done. All right, we're good. We're good. Nothing else sneakily hot. Oh, there's a big, big pallet of stone at the front. I need you. Give me that goodness. Like I did one last double take. I missed all this goodness. Look at that. Came back just to get another bit of uh, concrete on the go. I can make almost 1,200 of the fuckers. Let's make that. That's going to be enough to at least finish off the bottom row at the very least. And I also came back to grab my motorcycle. For some reason, I left my motorcycle at home. I went gallivanting off into town without actually taking my wheels. A little bit silly. Make sure I have a lot of petrol. That's all right. I've got my bicycle back at home anyway. May as well take it while I got it. There we go. Park up out the front. Lovely dovely. Let's not go for that right just now. Let's go for that a little bit later. Anyone hiding inside? There shouldn't be. No, nah, we're good. All right, we'll start at the top and work our way down. Make sure we're not missing anything. I'm going to try and do this so that the last thing I do today before I head back to my actual home is I, like do the upgrading of the concrete. Like actually placing the blocks down and upgrading them is the last thing I want to be doing before I head off. So all of the daytime was relatively safe or more I can see the zombies coming from a little bit further away. I suddenly had a gut feeling I might be a wandering horde coming from somewhere. I don't know, but I'm just, I'm just getting paranoid. Because they show up so quickly, they don't just dawdle through the shrubs, they pop up out of nowhere. And before you know it, they are reaching inside your asshole and trying to figure out what you had for breakfast three nights to go because i'm always worried about that i never really feel comfortable i'm always on edge waiting to hear the footsteps or them beating on something it's the only warning i get so it's going to kind of keep like swiveling around keep your head on a swivel as much as possible and scan the horizon if they see them coming you'll be okay but yeah so what was daytime i can see the hordes coming that's when i want to be doing my digging but like at dusk i want to be by doing the upgrading then i'll go home and hide back in my basement of safety until the sun rises again how are we looking? What do we got? We got silver or two, uh, two, 2100 bloody cement on me. Cobblestone rocks, got plenty of those. Clay, sand, okay, lots of that going around. That'll be fine. Not to mention all of the cement I'm crafting back home, which won't even be close to being done yet. So no use heading back there just yet. Oh, there's a hospital. It's been a very long time since I raided the hospital. I mean, I never really felt the need because I've never really hurt that bad that I'm in such desperate need of medical supplies. Before I do that, let's wear the right goggles and I put them on. Oh, he, he heard me. He heard me raid the car and he came to investigate. I missed the shot. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Better. Okay, that's the other thing. You know, zombies hear you from a mile away and come investigate. It's never good. Lucky looter. Not even wearing my lucky looting goggles. So we'll wear those from now. What are you going to give? It's a book I haven't read. Find more brass and loot. Use that one. Happy days. Always happy finding some knowledge. Just kind of scoping out the neighborhood to see if there's anything in particular that's tickling my fancy. Like a, like a something easy. A nice and cheap, easy little raid run that's going to give you a decent chance of finding something good. Uh, military base? No, it's too big. Is there like a farm or something or a barn? They usually have something pretty good with it, especially the ones with the, uh, the hidden stash tower, the silo out the back. I very much like one of those if I happen to stumble across one of them. That's a, that's a Grain Brothers, whatever it's called. Water tower out there. Oh, Grain Buddies. That's, that's the one. There we go. Thank you for reminding me, game. Two Home Depots that's next to each other. That's not particularly great. Oh, don't get drifties. Oh, no. John's Ham's Radios. And some landmines around here. Not really, not really anything that I'm really liking the idea of. Nothing's really jumping out at me going, Oi, come inside. Everything is kind of, you know, looking foreboding and scary. Oh, no, nah, never mind. Just on the outskirts of town. I was just talking about how there was nothing here. Just outside of town is a lovely, doubly barn. More importantly, this is the one that has the solo out the back and it has the Piggly Winks' inside, which I need to murder to do my quest. Plus, look at all the materials. The barn has everything a growing survivor needs. Lovely. Uh, you know, what I'm going to do, just to try and make sure I don't get surprised by the Muppets on the other side of this. I'm going to go like that and like that. Try and get some height to see the Muppets. Like, look at that. I can't shoot it because I can't shoot through those uh, those bloody watchmacall, it's the slats, which is always very upsetting because I very much like to, if I can see the zombie, I want to be able to shoot the zombie, let me hit those small targets, let me feel good about myself. Doesn't look to be a lot of zombies waiting for us. I'll just quickly murder Piggly Winks while I'm here. Put a bolt through the back of his head. There we go. No, I'm going to bother harvesting ya. Still don't have a recipe. After all this time, still don't have a recipe for a bloody, uh, a, a grilled steak or anything like that. I'm still desperately trying to find any of that. Can't find any though. Where was that marble? Was she just down? Oh, damn it. Didn't want to fall all the way down here. Let's get back up on my ramp. I'm going to try that shot. Even though I know it won't work. I'm going to try it anyway. Here we go. 
Nah, no beans. No beans, no bueno. Well, you know what? Instead, I'm just gonna like let myself up onto this uh this little safety pad you've built yourself over here. Like, uh, can I go? All right, fine. Make it more difficult for me then. Maybe we'll use three blames instead of two. There we go. Boom. Try to get as much stealth damage as possible. Just do not want to get into firefights if I can avoid it. This bow is so freaking good. Look at that. I'm two feet away from a big tub of toothpaste and she's not even hearing me murdering all her friends until right then, apparently. Oh. There we go. Kill her too. Did anyone else wake up from that? I don't know how she heard me. She didn't hear me hit murder the hoodie, but I shot the other one. Sure enough, she heard it in no time. That's a head. I'll shoot you too. Came up the ladder, which is kind of the sneaky way to do it. It means I get a better shot on these puppets. When I come across a cop like that, how good is the crossbow? How could you not love the crossbow? I mean, I know why I don't love the crossbow, but if you haven't been murdered in a butthole with a, by a Yeti just for picking one up, then you have no excuse not to. This thing's redeeming itself so well. I swore it off forever, but now I'm thinking it might be the new best friend. Oh, that's a tough shot. Can I, can I hit that? I don't know if I can. The first question is, can I get it out this window? without being too much of a mop. There we go, get a good shot. Oh, I must have just missed her nips. Try again. Damn, look at that. That's a proper sniper shot from the roof of a barn through a slatted window. She would have never, never even known where I was. I'm really happy with that. Let's go grab my frames back. It's getting kind of dark. Probably time for me to hang up my uh, my raiding boots and get back to where I need to be. Nothing in there, destroyed workbench. Oh, some forged steel and broken glass. I'll take you because why not? Uh, steel, uh, steel tool, yeah, okay, that's fine. Looking for just anything that I don't have right now. Still just going to break the hidden stash outside and the upstairs area. Man, I'm going to be building in the night somewhere. We're putting those blocks down and upgrading them as the moon is rising, which is not very exciting if you're me. Uh, that's... Okay, I didn't realize there was a snake down there. How am I supposed to hit your head from here? Mate, come on, at least give us a shot at your noggin. That's just ridiculous. Oh, just try and see the head first before they see you. Oh, there, there's some legs. Oh, there's a head. Oh, not quite though. Skomo's hiding behind the bloody concrete pallet. Here we go. Ah, there we go. Fix up you. Didn't wake up Skomo. He's had two mojitos on that Hawaiian beach. There we go. Catch you later, Skomo. I know. Someone not wanted to shake a hand. It's mind blowing, right? <laughs> That's a very old joke at this point. I don't know. I'll keep making it happen, though. When you have a muppet like that, you got to make sure he's a running joke for long enough for it to stand out. 44 meter ammo, some more crossbow bolts. There we go. Keep on going. Get the loot. Get it done quick. Then we'll avoid that snake downstairs. Go to the silo. Get that and head back to our base before it's too late. That's a really good get. I thought I had a steel fire axe. I don't, but there's a tier six one hanging out in this box. Happy with that. Scrap the wire tool. Uh, yeah, I'll take you. All right, lovely, doubly. Let's go modify. Let's swap all of you guys out. Now I know they might not have like the best stats ever. Let's have a look. What have we got? 23. Yeah, nah, everything about this is better, except the attacks permit. It takes slightly longer to swing this bad boy, but that's okay. Modify you, bang all of you guys back in there. Two more mod slots left over from that too. Lovely, that's a real good get. Happy with that one. What's in the other one? Another repair kit. In fact, I'll use that repair kit straight away on my fire axe. There we go. And I'll have to break into this stupid thing. Oh, it's going to take ages. Hurry up, please. There's, there's got to be a way. I, I mean, sure, um, I could like invest into the lockpicking skill. But for goodness sake, I've done this so many times. Let me spec up. Surely every time I've done this, it would have got better. Maybe it's just going to count down from 10 instead of fucking 20 every time. Speaking of, boom, there we go. We're in. We're wearing the right goggles. Let's have a quick little gander. Uh, military gloves. A fucking baseball bat. That's better than my reinforced club. There's a fucking happy day there, too. All right, I'm going to get my scrapping crossbow fixed by scrapping the tier two. Get some bow parts out of you. Uh, swap that one back over for there, please. There we go. All right, so I want to use this base one. I've never actually used a base bat in seven days. They brought it in and I made the bloody fist only challenge. It was always upsetting, but now I've got that badness. Let's go here. Let's throw away. What, what do I need right now? I don't really need, okay, I don't need military gloves. Let's scrap that one. One gunpowder. Don't need that so much. Uh, 20 bones. Got plenty of home for nitro powder. Okay, there we go. I can hear the snake downstairs still causing a ruckus. But that's all right. Let's grab all of this complete and then go baseball bat. First of all, repair. It's going to take a couple of seconds, but it's worth it. Then put those mods back on there and we should have ourselves a better unit than what we had two seconds ago. Boom. Look at that. Oh, that's some sexy goodness right there. Oh, yes. Oh, that's like the stinger. I feel like I'm the freaking undertaker right now. That's wonderful. There's the snake. It's nine o'clock at night. I need to get out into the uh, the bloody watchmaker, the secret chest. 
Oh, thank God. Thank God for those glancing blows. I was never going to have any any luck trying to swat a snake in the head with a bloody base map, but I got it done. Don't need that one. Also, don't need a repair tool. All right, yep, we've got everything here. Everything cooking, everything nice. Lovely. Let's quickly go and hit up the silo out the back because I really want to get the most out of this place. Don't hit any landmines. Make sure we don't reverse into the minefield either. All right, remember, I know I could have gone from the top, but that, that snake was causing me some issues. And when there's a danger noodle nearby, you can never really be as safe as you'd like to. Let's get the normal frames and just kind of jump up from here. My in line, not quite, but that's all right. We'll make it work. Up, 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 and ah, uh, there we go. Lovely. Now, if this doesn't give me something good, I'm going to be rather upset. I'll be upsetty spaghetti. Boom, there we go. And hidden stash. What an absolute waste of time. All right. Cool. Who's using that as a hidden stash? Who goes, oh, this shithouse iron helmet that's basically just wearing a colander on my noggin. Let's keep this safe. Let's bury this in the barn. Come on. No wonder you died in the apocalypse. You got about as much nous as some bloody spilled pasta. That's poor. We're cutting it fine, but that's okay. If a wandering horde shows up, I'm just going to jump on my bike and ride the hell out of here. But for the moment, we should be all right. Uh, let's like back over here. Get another big wad of uh, concrete mix going. Grab you out of there. Where is my nail gun? Let's not wait around and fuck any spiders. I am not here to fuck the spiders, nor do I want to. Way too many legs. I mean, if they like wrap around you and hook on, you ain't going nowhere. Plus spiders are big as fuck and they could definitely like, lock you down if they wanted to. All right, there we go. Finally, after all this time, after several days of building, we have a tiny ring. Look at that. Not much to show for it, but it's something at the very least. Uh, where's my reaper frames? Grab you. I think I had some more in the box. Let's get the next level going as well as the night closes in. Up we go. All right, let's get this one going too. Once it's too high, then the zombies can't get in. I feel a little bit safer about being out here in the dead of night. I've got the next level of rebar up, but I've only got 290, make that, oh, okay, 334 uh, pieces of, whatchamacallit, of concrete. So where's my normal frames? I'll grab you. That's no, Josh, bad. Let's never take, never take the bloody uh, bandages out of your inventory. You do that and you die. So many times you would have died already and you've made the mistake before of taking your bandages out, like those yetis on like day two where you're almost carked it straight away. Bonds are made. There's another level up, though. Hey, for that, look at that XP. Look at all the XP you get for doing this. I'm not even wearing the right goggles. I would have got so much more if I had done that the right way. Although now I'm out of... Now, oh, shit, I fell on the wrong side. Now I'm out of concrete. Kind of silly. Look, I know it's going to, you know, run the risk of me getting trapped outside of this wall, but that's okay. Now that I've got that done, let's just leave you crafting away. Let's leave you in there. Let's leave all the shit for construction back at this base. I don't need to take everything with me all the time. Um, yep, you can stay here too. What else can stay here? The nail gun can. Where's those flagstone blocks? They're already in there. And the rebar frames as well. Okay. That's going to be fine. Let's get my inventory back sorted out again. Lots of good stuff. That's been a pretty bloody good day, actually. I'm happy with that. Let's go back over here. Put myself like this. Now, to get in here, I just want to keep the zombies out. It's going to go like this and that and that and that. So I can get up here and make that jump, but the zombies won't be able to make that. Not unless I'm standing right here. They'd never even try. All right. In fact, I've got some gas as well. Let's go here and regas you. I found some gas in a barrel somewhere. Let's head back home, back to the safety of our basement, and give ourselves a Swift little self five to celebrate a good couple of days actually. It's been a good little session. Here we go, home sweet home. Don't want to leave the bike down there. Actually, I'll just leave it kind of out the front because a little like a little hump there is just a little bit annoying. Nothing in there that I need. All right, we are good to go. Uh, anything in here going? No, not really. I might have to take those lanterns with me the next time to light up that area because trying to build it in the darkness is a little bit scary. Oh, look, I mean, look, this room is small, but it's like, it's cozy. You know, it's like being wrapped up in a big, like, glowing yellow blanket. Just feels nice. Big, a big fluffy purple blanket, actually. That's what it feels like. It's like bloody, it's homely, it's lovely, and I like it. Well, there you go. The purple SMG, the purple MP5 did its job. Served me very well. Still don't really like the sight on it, because, like, look at that. The bloody scratches are more obvious than the tiny little pale dot in the middle that you're supposed to try and aim with. It's, it would almost be better just using the iron sights, because that little front post is super obvious and super nice but i mean look beggars can't be choosing either get rid of the front post or make the site actually usable one of the two please but i'm very happy with it it served me well it kept me safe i think it was a good decision plus it's made the crossbow just that little bit more valuable as well so all in all a pretty bloody good day and we have like the beginnings of our base actually coming together it's about to be day 18 the horde isn't too far away i think i'll get it done by then i'm gonna have to focus on construction though not just like gallivanting around the apocalypse looting everything that 
comes to mind. I've got to focus on the task at hand, which, as you know, for me, is a very, very big ask. I'll have to take on that big, big ask in the next episode because this episode is done. So thank you guys for watching. Most of all, thank you to all the patrons of Patreon who made this episode possible. If you like to make sure you hit the like button down below and subscribe to this channel. Follow me on Twitter. If I don't talk to you there first, I'll see you in the next episode. Have a good one.